Hi, how is everybody doing today? Regardless of what documents the slave masters had, my name is Queen Goddess Johnson. Regardless if my mother doesn't want me, regardless of how many times she says, I want you to have your kids, every time she steps in the courtroom, she says the opposite. Um, and basically, I feel kind of like, so when I say, uh, I do what I do for her at Tubman, I do what I do for her at Tubman, because then she cared about our ancestors, just like she cared about herself and her family, where she did put her hands in the mud, dig the hole large enough for however many people she freed, and got them to the other side of freedom. Um, it's sad, you know, that your mother would repeatedly do the same thing in a court building, along with every other person that is wrong. When social services says to your parents that you cannot adopt a child, that means you cannot have your, your daughter's children, you cannot separate your daughter's children, you cannot do all the things that Oliver Hill Court Building has allowed her to do. And today, I threw away a Christmas tree and a mattress set. Okay. And I'm just throwing away my old memories. Okay. No more will there be Christmas celebrating. No more will I be celebrating any holiday throughout the year. Because I feel like all this stuff is a lie. I would now no longer listen to Satan lies and the things which Satan has to say. Okay. And, you know, it's a hard pill to swallow. But, you know, at the end of the day, God is. And God knows what my name is. And God is real. Jesus is in my spirit. He's in my soul. You know? And I want not be taking too many more trips to my mother's house. Uh, when I order stuff this month, this will be the last month. And just understand when I state my name, my name is my name. Fuck your sheet of papers. Fuck your documents. Because then you're the same people that's preaching all this, this good stuff. But the shit don't mean nothing. Depending on the seats you're sitting in. When somebody had to dig a goddamn hole to save slavery. You know? Like somebody took my father's name off my birth certificate. And I don't have my father's name. It's ridiculous, quite frankly. That I'm doing shit that my mother and my father should have did when I was a kid. Somebody should have been handling the situation when I was a child. Not as I am grown, I am handling these situations. Maybe you took out more time to handle your children's situations, stay out your children's lives, the better off you'll be. You ever thought of that? These are things that you should think about. You know? Think about those things. If I was getting my daughter birth certificate straight, and she is raising her children, I got something to do. You know, but you know what? I know what my name is. I wouldn't be voting anymore. Uh, I just wanted to vote in the name that I changed my name to with my father's last name. And it made me feel so much better. It just lifted so much of my stress off me. But I would not be voting anymore. And you can remove my name from the voting roster. Uh... I would be moving on with my life. With my million. And Bank of America would be sending it to me. I would be going to get my vendor's license, my business license. And I would be packing up my stuff. And either I'm going to go to Exit 1 or I'm going to go to California. I just don't want to be around anybody that I know. Nobody that I know actually. 
and um, I will be taking up some steps to um, have me some more kids. And I don't have to be around people that are ignorant and stupid. You know, just ignorant and stupid. Do you know what it means to raise, uh, to take care of your wife? Do you know what it means to take care of your husband? Do you know all the things that you have to do to take care of yourself? Remember, though, you take care of yourself first, then you take care of your kids, then you take care of your home. All right? Just know that. God bless you all, and have a good night.